Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here, back with part two of the fastest Mac Mini in the World series, finally. So uh, if you like this series idea, if you wanna see part three soon, give a thumbs up to support this series. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and pick up where part one left off, and that is with the install of the fastest single SSD solution money can buy. Without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into this. So the 2011 Mac Mini is interesting. It's too small for a PCI card SSD. And uh, in terms of the Apple option, I actually called Apple and nobody could tell me there how fast their $500, $250, SSD option was. So we're taking matters into our own hands here with the OCZ Vertex 3 Max IOPS Edition, a blazing fast SATA 3 base 6 gigabit per second SSD that handles write speeds at around 500 megabytes per second and reads at around 550 megabytes per second. So we can tear this open and check out what comes in the package from OCZ, and that includes this three and a half inch metal tray to make this two and a half inch SSD fit in larger desktops, but we won't be needing this. You also get this sweet sticker, perfect for the back of your car, no? Or maybe just slap it on the computer later. And you also get a user manual, and the gold itself, it's the SSD. And uh, taking it out the package, you can see the form factor is really beautifully simple. Just the power and the SATA connector and the SSD. That's it. Looking like a boss, ready to do work in this Mac Mini. Now before the install of the SSD itself, we're going to need a couple things. We need a USB thumb drive of 8 gigabytes or more. And we'll need to go into our fresh install of Lion on the slow hard drive and download and install the OS X Lion recovery tool and install it onto the flash drive. And this is what we use to get that Lion onto the new SSD. Now the links to all the supplies needed to perform the surgery are in the description below this video, right next to that like button. And that's where you'll find the mini screwdriver set. Now I'm not going to explain every detail in the hardware swap process to get out the hard drive and get in the SSD. And that's mainly because there is already a fantastic step-by-step -step instructional video on YouTube that I used and followed to do this. So that's in the description. But overall, this entire process was pretty painless, took just about 25 minutes for me to complete, and was actually pretty simple, and I want to say dummy-proof, but you know, you just have to have the right tools and you can get it done. Just note that the screws you'll be unscrewing are mostly really tiny, so be prepared to have a good place to store them, uh, like in a bottle cap or something. But yeah, it was altogether pretty painless. I've never opened up a Mac Mini before, so stuff was much more crammed together than I'm used to when I build regular tower computers. Uh, but I, I do have massive, freaking gigantic hands, as you can see, so that was probably the most difficult part. But sure enough, 25 minutes after I started, I was done, and it was time to fire up the new Mac Mini for the first time. Now when you do turn it back on, hold down the Option key on the Apple keyboard, and you'll get that disk utility where you can format the new SSD entirely in one partition for OS X and begin your install of a fresh new copy of Lion. That whole install took about, again, 20 to 25 minutes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where part two finishes. <laughs> part three will pick up where this part left off. And you can expect to see a ton of RAM thrown at this little beast of a machine and many more things done to make it the fastest Mac Mini in the world. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.